My name is Stuart Tulloch and I am curator of Icon Gallery. I've currently been in post for, for just two months. Um, Icon is almost 50 years old and will be 50 uh, next year in 2014. And in, it's been in its current location in Brindley Place in Birmingham for 15 years and is celebrating that this year. It has a reputation for showing artists with very strong international reputations. Um, but, but it's also showing artists that, um, I mean, such as like Ruth Claxton and Stuart Whips, you know, the, kind of the beginnings of their career, but, uh, but are people that are doing things and, uh, you know, really strong work and, and actually looking at what's going on in Birmingham and, and showing those people. You know, there are, there are other, you know, it's kind of opportunities within the, within the programme or within the building. There's a, there's a small space, the tower room, where it might show just, well, it will show just one work by an artist. So, so perhaps somebody that's kind of getting to a, to a particular level. But it really is, um, I mean, Icon's a big gig, really. And so for somebody to take it on, you know, they really need to have kind of, you know, really wanting to, to show people that have reached a point in their career. Kind of looking, that's kind of like maybe like a midpoint um, uh, in their career, like a survey. So, so also we've got um, the Japanese artist Shimabuku. That's later this year in the summer. And although he's been in lots of group shows uh, in the past um, at uh, Haywards and, uh, and he's represented by Wilkinson Galleries based in Berlin. But this will be the first survey exhibition of, of his work anywhere and, that, and then that's a show that will then go on abroad and so working collaboratively with people with other organizations internationally as well is really important for ICON. So ICON gets involved with uh, organizations across the world really and I suppose this, this really comes from Jonathan and, uh, and uh, his I suppose his role within visual arts internationally as uh, I mean this year is uh, curator of the Iraqi pavilion in Venice um, and and that all of those experiences I mean last year he uh, uh, was curator of uh, Guangzhou Biennial um, so so kind of that involvement and doing that research and being involved in organizations across the world then it's kind of then brought back into ICON's program which is which is it's kind of a great thing there's a real spirit of collaboration in, in Birmingham. Of an icon kind of sits sits well within that, and at the centre of providing its space and providing opportunities for for things to happen in its within exhibitions, or also whilst things are while exhibitions are changing, or whether it's doing something off site as, as part of that. And I think, and in my experience, of. I feel as a city is perhaps doing more than other regional cities or perhaps um, it kind of feels like as, as kind of Glasgow would kind of work or did used to work in this kind of the spirit of getting things done. I think it doesn't, the thing about it that it doesn't do is actually shout about it and I think it kind of needs to do that. Really interesting thing of people here will look to Liverpool and say Liverpool's this great place and it's doing lots of things and I think it's because the biennial is so good at um, of spinning what it does. Um, I think Birmingham does something equally as good, um, if not better, in what it's doing. It just doesn't shout about it. So yeah, it's a, it's a great place.